Now we turn to concerns surrounding environmental racism and justice. Earlier this week, 3 News contributor Chris Webb moderated a panel discussion on how to be solution oriented when it comes to diversity, equity and inclusion related to climate and environmental issues. Here's part of that conversation. Every single human being is impacted by the environment. I mean, that's just fact. And so, so much of what you see when it comes to environmental justice, I mean, I like the term environmental racism because I think it's much more honest. Racism has many cousins. Um, it shows up in many sectors. Um, and the environmental uh, sector is just one. I recently spoke with the director of the Ohio Climate Justice Fund, Leah Dunhall, and the program director for climate and environment justice with the George Gunn Foundation, John Mitterholzer, about environmental justice and the changes that need to happen in the movement. We have been woefully underfunding BIPOC leaders across the country in the environmental movement. Right now, the work that the Ohio Climate Justice Fund is doing while it's focused on climate is also racial liberation work. What our grants do is supply dollars to organizations to host community listening conversations in their neighborhoods about climate and clean energy. And these conversations and grant opportunities reopen in February. But one thing is clear, the time is now for both action and change. When you talk about a clean energy sector, no longer do you have to sacrifice your health to have upward mobility for your family. That's environmental justice. You can find the complete conversation on our website, WKYC.com, under the section, A Turning Point.